say, I give money to the church. I give money to the church. I give a tenth of my income. I give a tenth of my income. Yeah. 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 So, but the tax collector stood at a distance. You guys are looking at me. You don't understand that. I think that it's stupid because he's still stupid. The tax collector stood, stood at a distance and he would not even look up to heaven, but he beat his chest. And he said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Now you can beat your chest. <laughs> All right, here we go. We beat our chest. <laughs> and, say, and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Do it. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> but you don't even get to look up because you feel too ashamed to even look up. But you beat your chest and say, God. God. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Now beat your chest. Okay, All right, anyways, here we go. And it says, so the tax collector stood the distance and he said that. And then Jesus says in the parable, I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God, which means forgiven. For everyone who exalts himself will be humble, and forever who humbles himself will be Exalted. All right. So, in this story, do we know who gets forgiven? Yes. Who? Him. Why? Him. Do you know? Because he just prayed. He prayed. Now they prayed. Oh, because he was humble. He was humble. What else? <laughs> wow. That was great. You're the first one who got it on that. He actually, he actually asked for forgiveness. Did they ask for forgiveness? No. no, they just told God how awesome they were. <laughs> hey, God, look at me. I'm so awesome. I do good things. I'm not like that guy down there. He's pretty rotten. But if you read the Bible, what does the Bible say about us and being sinners? It says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So this man comes 